Hey guys, Grumpy here with episode two of what I'm going to call Long Haul, uh, I think is a good name for the series. Um, so at the end of the previous episode, uh, we made our first couple of trades, made a couple bit of credits here. Um, now what we're going to do is look at tailoring our fleet. Um, thinking about it, watching back the first episode, I realized I'm just lugging around um, additional ships that I don't need now that I have the Atlas. So let's go ahead and um, get rid of let's get rid of the Wayfarer and the um, Shepherd. We can keep the Condor for now, but we definitely don't need these two um, smaller ships. They're just burning fuel and supplies for no real good reason. So what we're gonna do is we are going to. Uh, strip these ships first and then we'll go ahead and sell them on the market uh, we won't get much for them but it's more than nothing and let's look to see if we can replace those now that we have about 80,000 credits um, to our name there's a couple of upgrades that we can make uh, let's see this enforcer would be really nice uh, it's a bit hungry though. It's a bit hungry on fuel and supplies, but it's a good ship nonetheless. Um, <laughs> I don't think I've seen a Hyperion in on the black market, let alone in uh, hedge territory. Let's check the bar first. Uh, nope. You want to extract an agent from the path there? So we can do that. That's fine. Commodity trade. I need 500 units of food delivered to Jitsmo stock. Uh, yeah, we could definitely do that. And that's the location of a pirate base. We don't really care about that. So we are going to buy the Enforcer. That's our best choice right now. Um, and this will give us some more uh, defensive capabilities. Or, well, I mean, it's an offensive ship. But in case we ever get attacked, it would be nice to have a second combat ship um that we can have uh escort us around the battlefield so we'll buy it and then we'll do just a simple fit um we will again make sure that we're buying legal weapons so the red ones are the e illegal items so we can't purchase those so we'll do something like um two heavy mortars Uh, actually, two heavy mortars um, for missiles. I guess we'll just go single harpoons for now until we can upgrade those. And we'll use light auto cannons, but we're definitely going to want to look to upgrade those when we get a chance. Then, as far as mods go, I, I am tempted to put safety overrides on it, but we won't. Um, instead, let's just look to increase the armor and give it some hull. I don't think that's quite necessary. Let's uh, let's try to improve its maneuverability so it turns faster, and then hmm. we still have more capacity to play with. So let's look at let's look at expanded cargo holds and uh, auxiliary fuel tanks until we can upgrade some of these. Uh, its restore cost is a bit too much. So we won't be able to do anything with that. 
But let's go ahead and... Oh, look! Here is heavy armor. That would be perfect. Uh, let's get rid of... Fuel tank, cargo hold, and let's just slap on heavy armor. And I believe that's it. Drop a little bit of capacity. And we'll add blast doors. Right. And it's the best we have. Just to fill up our ordnance points. Nice. Alright, let's head over to Nachiketa, buy some cheap fuel, and then get out of here. Also, we can take a look at what uh, ships are annual. So we just want to... Uh, we don't want to max our fuel, so that'll leave us in a tough bind. But we do want to buy like a reasonable amount. And now, um, for the quest, we want to purchase fuel, uh, food at the cheapest rate we can and deliver it over to um, the mission. Drop it over at... Uh, it's most stock. I believe that's where this is going. Yeah. So to get the cheapest food, we need to go back to Jangala, which is nice because Chits most stock is nearby. Uh, accelerated shield, insulated engine. There. Those are whatever. Any interesting ships? A Falcon would be nice. I don't think so. Uh, we can keep going. I've got 650 units of fuel that urgently need to be delivered to Tartessus. We can do this. Uh, the problem is it's going to leave us... It's going to leave us a little empty on fuel. Uh, we can't buy fuel once we get to the other side. So we'll accept that contract. We just have to be careful not to use too much. And we will not purchase illegal weapons. Right. After that, we're going to go ahead and tackle our bounty, which is up here, after we drop off the fuel and shed some of the ships. Um, honestly, we can probably just go in with the Enforcer and tackle this, uh, but we'll see when we get to it. Alright. So, first things first, let's head over to... Jangala, buy the cheap food, head over to Chitsmostock sell the food off, um, drop off our ships in our favorite place, Myasora, and then go do these, or well, turn in the fuel, drop off the ships, do the extract, and then uh, head on over to this bounty. It's a little bit of roundabout, but uh, should be good nonetheless. We could also pick up marines in Chitsmostock, I believe. Uh, they're cheap there. So let's head on over. We're gonna have to uh, repair. I believe our Atlas is tanking our top speed. So we'll repair that when we get a second. Uh, Jengala is up here, so we actually wanna go this way. I have to check my older series because I keep pressing the wrong buttons. Hmm. Uh, we will 
not be joining any protests. Uh, we will not be getting involved in this. I can arrange 61,000 credits to find their way. Hey, you know what? We're already heading there. We might as well take this job as well. So, yeah. So, we can get cheap marines here. So, we'll actually buy... Uh, I think we need 100 for the extract. We need 70 marines. Uh, we'll probably lose some in the extract. And then we need another 70 marines uh, for the raid. So we'll buy 100 and call it good there. Buy 100. Very pricey. All right. We'll buy our 500 food. Then we have to sell something. So we're at a deficit right now. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think there's much we can sell. We can sell off the heavy machinery to cover our costs. But that's not too good. Uh, that'll bite us a little later on. Alright, let us go collect our reward. Alright, then we're going to have to trim the fleet up. Yeah, we are not going to have enough fuel to deliver. Alright. It is going to be tight, these first uh, few missions. Let's open up the comm directory. Deliver the food, collect our reward. And we'll sell off our organics. Confirm. And now what? We are going to have to buy fuel. The cheapest place is not to get them, but that's head in the wrong direction. Um, I think we'll just buy all the fuel out here. A couple of interesting shortages. Um, but we'll buy the fuel out. So that way we're covered. Actually, one second. Uh, is there a fate on there? Is. How much does a dram hold? A dram holds 1500. Wait, no. Sorry. Fuel capacity holds 300. A phaeton holds 8. It would be worth it, but then we don't have the, the money to uh, purchase the fuel. We could upgrade our DRAM. Alright. We'll just buy the fuel for now. Actually. Actually, actually, actually. Sorry, I'm going back and forth so much. Uh, we will drop off our ships and then go do the fuel. Um, so that way we don't burn as much trying to complete this mission. Right. In another life, <laughs> we would 100% take that fight. All 
Art activity in Valhalla. Uh, so something we want to keep in mind is if the flare goes up for um, bounties. A Revenant? So if you haven't watched Silent Nights, that's another series on the channel. I spent months trying to find a Revenant. And here one is just casually part of this um, merchant convoy. Absurd. Alright. Let's go ahead over to our favorite station. And let's shed some of this wheat. All right, so in case you haven't seen this, this is the abandoned Astropolis uh, here in Myasora. It allows us to store things for free. Um, we don't have to pay any monthly upkeep. Uh, it's very nice. You get to store um, ships. We're gonna go ahead and dock the Apogee. Uh, you get to store your ships for um, free here. You don't pay any upkeep on them. You don't pay any upkeep on the crew that you don't need so all is well so let's purchase fuel from port say um, our supply should hold us um, are you giving us all this fuel capacity you're giving us 600 if we drop the atlas we won't have enough okay so we need the atlas so what we want to look for actually is efficiency overhaul at some point. All right. But let's head over here. And another one. Okay. This game is just showing off. Uh, so we will buy the fuel. That's fine. I'll buy a little bit of supplies. And now, um, something that's interesting is uh, in Tritachion markets, recreational drugs, harvested organs are not considered contraband. So you can purchase these freely here, um, but when you do travel to other areas, you have to keep in mind that if you're inspected and you have this cargo, then it will be seized from you. Just keep that in mind. And you have no shortages, interesting. Uh, you will pay us to go fight in this area. We'll be accepting that. You want to transfer volatiles. You want to sell me volatiles at 120 each. I think the market rate on volatiles is 200. Uh, how do we check this? Do you see resources that are not on your planet? Normally what I do is I just click uh, one of my planets and then I would check there. I don't know if that 120 is a good enough rate. I think it is, but then again, the only planets that actually need volatiles is like Sindria and they usually get enough volatiles to turn into fuel. So I don't think there are any shortages. Um, 4,000 credits might be worth the investment. And it's not going to take up that much space. So we'll go ahead and accept it. Right. So we'll pick that up. That's fine. 
Uh, let's go ahead and drop off this fuel and then we'll conduct our raid. So we actually will need those marines, but we'll go ahead and conduct our raid. Uh, refit instead of cargo holds. Mm, okay. Oh, supplies for 70. That's really good, but uh, we won't get involved with that. Uh, what we need to do is we need to refit our Atlas. We don't need expanded cargo holds right now. We need additional uh, berthing, which will allow us to carry the Marines that we need. So let's go ahead and grab them. So we'll grab them. Uh, grab a little bit more crew because we are going to get into combat. So we do want to be aware of that. Uh, we may suffer losses. And then other than that, let's go ahead and get out of here. Uh, starting with dropping off the fuel and then coming back and doing these two missions. And then finally, um, in our brawler, we'll go ahead, or sorry, in our enforcer, we'll go ahead and take on this pirate bounty. This is like a handful of ships. Uh, shouldn't be too bad. Yep. Let's go ahead and jump out of the system. And again, we have to be careful heading by. Um, there are pathers in between here in Tartessus. Merchant convoy. But uh, we should be able to fight them off. They're really small fleets. Oh. Okay, so. Artessus. I think it's this big planet. Let's go ahead and turn off the fuel. So we conserved a lot of fuel by shrinking our fleet. We are able to complete that mission. Um, nope. Could buy a shield shunt. I don't think that's that necessary. Uh, you have domestic goods in excess. You have foods in excess. You have a lot of shortages. Uh, we'll go ahead and sell off our heavy machinery. We can always get some back later. Uh, from, it looks like Kulan. And uh, same with supplies. I think we can get decent supplies from uh, Chitsmo stock. Chico Mostock. However you pronounce that. Buy your fuel. Thank you, good sir. And let's continue on. Uh, let's take a peek at what ships you have for sale. Buffalo Mark II, not really interested. Uh, we're looking... I do want a Phaeton eventually, but um, one with D-Mod, so it's cheaper. And we have a Manticore. Eh, that could be a decent addition. You want to deliver 4,800 units of domestic goods. Would would take this trade in a heartbeat, but unfortunately we can't hold that many. Um, we could take it all and then store some here, like locally, but then we'd have to pay uh, 
We'd have to pay a storage fee on it and make a round trip. Could spend a story point for a better offer. It'd actually take three trips. Nah, it's not worth it. Uh, we just don't have the space. But uh, that would be interesting. Was there a Colossus for sale? There was not. There's one on the black market. Uh, let's head over to Hesperus. If we can get a Colossus and Hesperus, then we might take that offer. Uh, extended shields. You have a shortage of food? Okay. Uh, we don't see it. Okay. You want us to bomb a pirate base? We will not do that. Similarly, you want us to... You want us to raid... Eight thousand credits. Uh, we won't take that one. They want us to raid uh, Captain Starworks. Yeah, let's go ahead over here to Epiphany. Uh, yeah, we'll fight. Uh, so we'll move into engage. Um, we'll get a little bit of practice in. Should be fine. Uh, we will dominate this fight. Let's go ahead and actually, we'll just sit on our harpoons. Oh. It has been quite a while. Alright. A man after my own heart. Alright. Let's see if we can break from this. <laughs> we do have a lot of armor that they have to get through. Oh my. Alright. So really, the only thing that spared us there is uh, using the harpoons to create distance. The only thing that spared us there is that we have just so much armor to uh, to protect us. But yikes! Can you tell I'm a bit rusty? But we have this. It's fine.
just goes to show um, how good low tech fleets, uh, low tech ships can be. It can take quite a pounding. Oh. Oh. Yikes. Uh, no. We'll have to finish this with a dram. Oh no, the dram only has <laughs> salamander. Yikes, this is not good. Uh, so we'll play the DR game, or the CR game. And essentially, what we'll do is we'll just kind of hang out until the ship self-destructs. Uh, let's see. We're going to add a second ship. Yeah, okay. So, uh, because these ships were the same size um the enemy combat readiness wasn't reducing uh but now that we added another ship to the fight um even though this ship is useless because it's larger than the um lp brawler just like size wise like class wise uh now the cr should start to tick down they so basically just have to survive uh, against this ship Uh, we'll put a, the harpoon on auto fire. We should have gave the Atlas a weapon, just in the rare case that it's relevant. Uh, it's CR is still ticking down, but this is a nightmare. Okay. Take this opportunity to go ahead and uh, dump our flux. We have to win this fight. We just have to survive. That's crazy. What are your stats? You have helmsmanship and field modulation. You don't even have like actual combat stats. Crazy. So it's engine blew out, so it's good. Go ahead, hang out here. Yikes, maybe it was a bit early to, uh, or premature to drop the, off the Apogee. Right. Enemy fleet is defeated. So Brawler would say otherwise. So we do want to chase it. It's on our side of the battlefield, so that's a long way to go. Um, it'll probably hit zero CR before it can escape which uh, means we should be able to recover everything. Twelve percent. If its other engine blows out, then we should have it. Uh, there's a there's a certain distance you have to remain um, in order for CR to continue to tick down. And I think it'll get far enough away from us that it won't be. Nope. See, it's CR is now climbing. 
five. Oh. Engine flare out four. Three and then two and then it should explode. And a little bit too. And zero. And it might get away. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, we claim victory. We're gonna go ahead and recover our ships. Uh, we're gonna lose the dram. That's very unfortunate. But uh, we'll pick up the hound at least. Yikes. One one ship. Well, two ships. Jeez. Alright. Combat can be brutal. Alright. Anyway, let's head over to uh, Epiphany. Go do the thing we came here to do. And head on over. Uh, for this, we absolutely should have our transponder on, which means we probably shouldn't do this in the future. Twenty-seven Why do the Pathers have Sunders, is my, is my question. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think we can win that fight. So what we're going to do is we're going to pay that one-time fee and go ahead and store our um, Oh, can you not do that? Yeah, you can. Uh, we're gonna store our atlas and we're gonna drop off our supplies. Uh, Cause we're gonna lose this fight. There's just no way. Uh, we might as well store the fuel as well. Oh, yeah. And let's store the I don't think we need the fuel. I don't think we need the supplies either. Uh, we just need 10 crew. All right. We are going to go ahead and move into engage. What'll happen is we'll fight this fight, we'll lose, and then it'll spawn us back in Jangala uh, with all our stuff stored on Epiphany. Now this is like an emergency order, like, you know, obviously you don't normally want to do this, but uh, what this will do is it'll preserve all of our resources here. We do still have to figure out how we're going to get back to it, um, because hopefully this despawns, but more than likely what will happen is this fleet will be hanging out here at Epiphany. So we'll go ahead and move into Engage, continue, 
and fight our brave fight. We should have saved the uh, mortar. We actually should have took that off. You got flares. X. All right, we know other ships to de uh, to deploy. We go ahead and lose that fight, and we wash up on a. Oh, I thought it was gonna be Jangala. You just start in a random area with a Wayfarer and a Kite, apparently, and you lose some of your credits. Cool. All right, well, we're gonna end the episode here. Uh, that was very rough. Um, I am very rusty in combat, and we need to do some serious practice um but anyway hope you guys enjoyed that episode uh there will be twists and turns like that going forward uh, especially in the early game so uh hope you guys enjoy other than that grumpy out